Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, and today we're going to recap week zero in the college football season. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Now, week zero, college football's begun. Um, it was an exciting uh, first week of college football. I cannot wait for week one, but we got to recap the results of week zero first. First game, Western Kentucky beat Austin P 38-27. And they won, which is all that matters. But Western Kentucky was favored to win by 26 points. They kind of struggled early, but they got it together and they did win the game. But I'm a little, Western Kentucky is on alert for taking a step back this year. I do not think they're going to be as good as they were last year. The big result, Northwestern obviously beat Nebraska 31-28. I made a video on that yesterday, post game, talking about that. And uh, yeah, if Nebraska needed that game, they were favored to win by about 12. They didn't, and they, that is not a good result for them. UNLV beat Idaho State 52-21. That was a good result for them. They were favored to win by that much. UNLV might be an improved team this year. Uh, next, you got Utah State beat UConn 31-20. Now, that was kind of shocking because Utah State was favored to win by 24.5 points. Utah State, you know, they lost a lot of talent, some to the transfer portal, some pros, and some to graduation. And UConn's got a new coach in Jim Mora and the transfer quarterback in Taquan Roberson from Penn State. I think UConn's a little bit better this year. They might not be the worst team in college football this year in Division I because they hung with Utah State. Could be that U Utah State's not as good as they've been in the past, but UConn looked better on the field. Illinois beat Wyoming 38-6. Now, that was, I kind of had Wyoming being close in this game, maybe even winning. Illinois was favored by 10, but Illinois bludgeoned them. But unfortunately, they did lose their starting running back and their one of their starting wide receivers, Isaiah Williams. They got hurt, had to be carted off the field. So that's going to hurt them for their upcoming game against Indiana this Friday. And up next, Florida State beat DeCon 47-7. They destroyed them. Florida State was favored to win by that much. They beat them by that much. That's probably good news for Florida State considering the fact that they struggled against uh, Jacksonville State last year and lost. And Florida State fans remember that that horrific game. But since they beat, blew out DeCon, maybe they're improved. Up next, Florida Atlantic beat Charlotte 43-13. Now that... That was a beatdown. Charlotte has been an improved team. They've been pretty good since coming over to the FBS, but they looked horrible yesterday. Chris Reynolds got hurt. It's not looking good for Charlotte. Uh, they're, they look like they're going to have a terrible season for Atlantic. Beat them bad. They were only favored by 6 and won by 30. Up next, North Carolina beat Florida A&M 56-24. North Carolina struggled at first. Their defense was terrible. Florida A&M had... Uh, players out for like eligibility issues or something like that 25 players couldn't play they were shorthanded and North Carolina still struggled to contain them at first but North Carolina's offense got it together and their defense improved in the second half Drake May played well but they did not look sharp at first I'm not saying North Carolina's not a good team but they're gonna have to play better in the future of the season if they want to be improved Nevada 23 New Mexico State 12 up next that was pretty much expected Nevada was expected to win by seven so they got it done Lower scoring game than predicted, though. North Texas won 31-13 over UTEP. That was supposed to be a toss-up game. A lot of people thought UTEP would win it because it was at home, but North Texas got it done. It looks like North Texas is an improved football team. But the big result of the day, Vanderbilt was a 9.5 point favored, and they blew out Hawaii 63-10. to They blew them out. I watched until the third quarter, and when they went up 56-10, to I went to bed. Vanderbilt killed them. And this is like the biggest win Vanderbilt's had over an FBS opponent since like the 1940s. Is Vanderbilt an improved team? Are they going to win some games in the SEC this year? I still don't think they're going to win that much because the SEC is just too good. But if this game's any indication, Vanderbilt is an improved football team. Clark Lee's got this team ready to go. And we might see Vanderbilt upset a team or two this season. I cannot wait for week one. Week zero was excellent this, this first week of college football. It's what we've been waiting for. We had some upset. We had some crazy results already. Cannot wait for week one. And I will be definitely doing some previews of the games upcoming next week. Like this video if you like this kind of content. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we're going to be re uh, previewing all these games and doing recaps when they happen. I'll see you next time.